great in my opinion and right before that I had just finished the final portion of my Jameson Black Barrel so I was discerning whether or not I should keep going and just finish off the night with the last vial in the Whiskey Gangs of New York sample kit from Flavier and I decided um, YOLO and I'll just go for it you know so with that being said I have this saltine cracker I'm going to eat it and I'm going to get into this whiskey before I eat the saltine cracker and get into it though I'm going to pour this out and let it air a little bit Kings County, straight bourbon. Let's see what we got on the nose here. I'm expecting a very like classic bourbon kind of experience here, but let's see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it smells like a bourbon, that's for sure. Smells like a bourbon. 
licorice on here as well. I'll just write that down. Very bourbon like. I don't know. And again, another very dark color to this as well. Probably a dark bronze. Yeah. I guess I can kind of agree with the butterscotch flavor to it. Definitely didn't pick it up on the nose, but um, there is a certain butteriness to all this. I think more so the texture than the flavor itself. But there is also something sweet happening in addition to the spiciness getting and I think it's more veering towards the uh, the caramel taste compared to butterscotch but there's like a buttery there's a buttery texture to this palette for sure so I'll say buttery texture pretty heavy on caramel I'd say that caramel and pepper are like the two dominating notes on this thing I didn't pick up cinnamon though, like the spiral says. Yeah, for sure, apple as well. to think of maybe some berries are on this thing but If you like bourbon, then this is a very good whiskey. But let's see if a splash of water brings anything out. Um, I definitely wish that I tried this one right after the Jameson, and then I tried the Widow Jane after that. Because this is a pretty fine whiskey. It's pretty good. Um, but it's 
very classic notes. It's very typical of what you would expect from a bourbon, so like there's nothing surprising about it. It's just a good bourbon. And the one before this was just kind of like a knock, a knockout, right? It was kind of a home run for me. So it is hard for me to judge this fairly in a way. Um, I am going to say that it's probably worth picking up a bottle if you're in New York City. And I might pick up a bottle of this too to do a proper tasting for. But um, it's just very typical bourbon. Like, and I feel like I probably have to have more bourbons to be able to say that with more confidence and also be able to discern kind of like the differences. Like, can I really say that a New York bourbon is a typical bourbon when I really haven't had that many bourbons from the main region of USA that produces it, right, in Kentucky, and the states around it. But yeah, like, overall, like, if I was in the mood for a bourbon, this would be a very good whiskey. you exactly what you expect. No surprises, no disappointments, like nothing. Like it's a bit of a straight shooter. And there is pretty good viscosity to this thing too. It's got a lot of legs running down as I swirl it around. Um, there's definitely an interesting profile to the actual body of this whiskey. But I think uh, with that being said, I don't really have much more to say. So I'm going to finish this thing off and I wish you all a good night. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm planning some work trips. I might be done with them by the time this video comes out. I don't I just wanted to make sure I had the content available, so there's probably going to be a bit of a difference between when I'm shooting this video and when it actually gets um, pushed out compared to other ones. So I am trying to get into a rhythm though, for sure, like producing content for my whiskey tastings at the minimum once every two weeks. If I can do something once every one, uh, once a week, then great. Um, but there's other kinds of content that I do want to make as well. Still kind of related, but like just not the bread and butter of what I do, which is the whiskey tastings. And I want to make sure that that is regular and consistent before I try exploring anything else. So, cheers everybody. Okay, there was more in that last sip than I 